What's the deal, y'all? This your man, King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. Be sure to subscribe and the like button for me. So apparently, Birdman been doing a lot of talking lately. He's been talking about pulling up on Joe Button. He threatened him yesterday. Then he's talking about Gilly the Kid getting punked out by Beanie Siegel and how he didn't write none of the card and how he, Gilly was worth no money. But my question to y'all is, why did he don't say anything about Rick Ross? Now, for those who don't know, Ross dropped a disc record titled Idols Became Rivals in 2017 or 2018, I believe. And we ain't heard a peep from Birdman about this. Now, what I like about this record, first of all, was how it was produced. It used the Daddy, where have you been? Used that beat, first of all. Then he had Chris Rock hyped up, coked up, whatever case may have you on the intro. And Ross came across more so like a disappointed fan. Than just somebody disrespecting somebody. Because some of the lines up here. First when he said. I used to see you niggas on the TV screen. And I wonder what was life like. Was it all a dream? And then I met you at the Live Nation dates. Came the realization that your watch was fake. Damn you nearly broke my heart. I really thought you niggas really owned them cars. Oh my god. Then the second verse. It got even deeper because he started talking about Birdman's alleged, even though it's documented, handling on how he handles his artists. We talking about, that's why 45 with my trunk fit trunks. F a skateboard. I went and got the Rav boy. Catholic record labels. Niggas getting raped, boy. Birdman's a priest. Moan in the synagogue. Publishing is a sin. Repent. Forgive me, Lord. Shots fired. Home invasion out in the Palms Isle. Red bean dead detonators well who's the bomb now look in your eyes nigga for her i say good night and i pray that manny fresh get to see the light wow wow now then the third one he also said you stole them boys publishing and bought a foreclosure scott storch deems it which is more poison i handle over records never charge the coin then he talked about the issues the street issues that Cash Money got into, he said he handled it. Like the Miami issues, with the, when he was talking about the issues with the Zopound. Then he talked about the Big Ducky who was associated with Ross. He handled that issue in California. Then he went on to say that he'd never visit BG in the pen. Turk came home, gave him a three-piece, meaning he broke. And he also said this at the end. He also said, I pray that you find your kindness in your heart for Wayne. His entire life, he gave you what there was the game. I watched his whole debacle, so I'm part to blame. Last request, can the, all producers please get paid? Wow. Then, the closure at the end, he said this. He said, how the fuck, nigga, you touch a billion, nigga, and your teeth starving? You on an island. You came to my city, nigga. I let you in my city. And what hurt me the most is how you did my brother Khaled. Khaled was loyal to you. The pain I seen in my brother's eyes, FaceTiming my nigga. Nigga, he took it to the chin. That's why my nigga blessed. But Birdman ain't say nothing about this. I'm waiting to hear him what he got to say. And I don't want to hear all of that he ain't big enough talk. This nigga Rick Ross still one of the most popular faces in hip-hop. And I found out right, that Birdman ain't say nothing. So he's doing a lot of talking lately. So I want to see if he's going to address this. And this is actually a dope disc record, actually, believe it or not. So, y'all check it out. It's called Idols Became Rivals, featuring Chris Rock. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Subscribe, hit the like button. Peace.